Welcome. In this screencast I want to show you the default burning application XF Burn under Lubuntu 10.04. You can find XF Burn under the Lubuntu menu, sound and video, XF Burn. So this is the basic interface of XF Burn. It allows you to burn an image, create a new data CD, blank a disk or create a new audio CD. So I want to create a new audio CD. I just click on audio CD here. It will open up this little mini browser and I can simply drag some audio files with this little browser view on the top or simply drag some tracks from my browser to this uh, little window here. And as you can see, I can position those files if I want to um, edit the track number here and of course I can add many different files here they will be automatically encoded to the WAV format that's needed for an audio CD if you have some mp3 files like I here you need to have an encoder or decoder installed for decoding those mp3 files in my last screencast I showed you how you can uh, install extra codecs and you need those extra codecs to decode those files here. So if I'm ready to burn I can click on proceed to burn, choose my drive, my speed and write mode. I can even set some options like ejecting the disk when it is burned or activating burn free. If I want to simulate and burn I can simply check this here dummy write and it will simulate the burn and not write any data onto the disk. So this is, this is the basic idea on how to use XF Burn. It goes as well for creating audio uh, data CDs here. Click on data CDs, you can set a volume name here and add some files like this folder here and this folder and give it a name. I can choose the view of uh, usage as uh, space usage on the disk by simply clicking here on the right disk and create new directories if I want to add some files there and see my whole file structure for the new disk. Of course I can also burn images. So if I have an ISO image somewhere, another Linux distribution for example, just clicking here, choose the ISO image that I want to burn, uh, choose my drive, choose the speed and write mode and some other options and click on burn image and it will automatically be burned onto the disk. So this is the really easy to use XF burn. And I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.